Yeah, that's what I love when I write songs. You can just come up with all those things, you know. It's like I just play around with it, but make it a kind of interesting sound, kind of mixes, you know. It's cool. A little bit of dissonance here and there is kind of cool, but I like it. You know what I mean? It just makes for interesting songs. I don't know. Doesn't have to be all about, you know, just kind of perfect and, you know, in tune. Something a little bit of distance here and there actually makes things sound really, very, really, very really nice. Very interesting. Oh, I like it, right? Yeah. So, what else can I say? Mm. Talk about things. It's just weird, like you know, I'm from South Africa. I remember when I first came to America and told people I'm from South Africa, they wouldn't believe me. <laughs> it's like, why won't you believe me? Because <laughs> they have pictures in their mind of who comes from South Africa. They always think Africa. Africa means <laughs> why? Why does it mean black? I don't know. It's like saying Australia means Aborigine or. New Zealand means Maori because whenever someone thinks of an Australian, they don't think of an Aborigine. They think of some blonde person, <laughs> some blonde person named Paul Hogan or something. <laughs> you know, right? And when you think of New Zealand, you don't think of Maoris. You can really think of, you know, the next problem. You think of what, Lucy Lawless. <laughs> I don't know. Think of, you know, you know, think of that. So it's interesting how some countries. Not synonymous with their native people anymore. Australia de definitely is not synonymous with their Aborigines. People I think of Aborigines when I think of Australia. So it's almost like they were like written out of the scenario. You know. So yeah. Strange, I think I'm gonna do an honor. I should have answered it because it's gonna be like important, but <laughs> I saw the idea, I was like, I don't know who you are. <laughs> and usually it's like a telemarketer, so you talk to them and you go, Well, you know, I'd really like to tell you something, you know, that I did, and then I just kind of say something stupid and they don't even pick up on it. <laughs> I go, uh, you're a telemarketer, right? Telemarketer? Are you trying to sell me? Yeah. Yeah, they, they just keep going on. Yeah, I'm going to rank them, rank them, rank them. That's how I'm messing with it. That's fun. Mm -hmm. What was I talking about? I was talking about, right? I was talking about, uh, yeah, how certain, you know, countries, they don't get, like, like America. You go think about North America, the native people are. Native Americans or Indians, you know, or, but no one thinks of North America. Well, they're Indians of North America. But South America, same thing. So, when they were like Africa is like the only, well, not the only, but one of the few places where, you, where, the, where the native people are synonymous with the place, you know. But not, Australia is not. <laughs> Australia has been over, overrun. <laughs> by blonde people <laughs> you know you know some other places are similar you know you, gotta, you know yeah but I mean in the British in the British Empire <laughs> yeah the British kind of made such an impact you know so when someone you know, used to say I'm from South Africa they used to kind of go hey he's Rocky he's from South America I'm like no South Africa <laughs> well, for slip apparently I look more South American than South African <laughs> so it's like yeah um so that used to happen just like in the 80s mind you so in the 80s people didn't really know a lot about Africa you know or, you know it's like oh <laughs> yeah so I you know that's how South Africans get that so whenever you ask South Africans questions you're gonna have the eye rolls the eye is because that's just how that's how we were when we first came to America the eye roll because people just kind of like <laughs> 
Don't you get it, man? <laughs> a lot of Africa was colonized by Europeans hundreds of years ago, just like America was. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, they were Native Americans, then they were Europeans. They were Native Africans, then they were Europeans in Africa. <laughs> we also had a lot of Europeans colonize Africa. Like South Africa was colonized by the by the Dutch, you know. In well, I mean, it's been Dutch in South Africa even before the first official Dutch colony. The first Dutch colony, I think, of, you know, like you know, permanent Dutch colony was in the what, like 16, uh, 1640, 1650 by Jan van Riebeek, something like that, in in Cape Town. So there's been permanent Dutch settlers there since the 1600s in in South Africa. Yeah, so it's like 1600s, that's about the same time Williamsburg, and was like, like 100 years like before the United States became a country. So, you know, it's like, well, yes, there's been Dutch people. Then the British came. There's been British people in South Africa for hundreds of years, too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but people don't know this. It's like, rah, 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 rah. Also, other countries, you know, the French held a lot of North Africa, Libya, you see those, what, uh, Laurel and Hardy, what is it? In, they're in the Foreign Legion. <laughs> Wasn't that them? <laughs> in the French Foreign Legion in North Africa. <laughs> and you got, you know, the Germans held, what, the Congo, the middle of the Belgians held the Congo. And, yeah, see. For hundreds of years, yet people just don't know that. They go, ah, oh, okay, I don't know. Yep. <laughs> It's interesting though. So yeah, so I'd explain that to them. And yeah, just explain. So in South Africa, you live in huts, small huts. <laughs> I explained to them well, you know, because there was a lot of European settlers there. They built actual houses, <laughs> buildings. <laughs> the Europeans don't like to live in huts. <laughs> so there have been Dutch settlers there for since the 1600s, so since then they've built a lot of houses there and <laughs> buildings and stuff and toilets and <laughs> roads. <laughs> they like to ride on roads. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, they were like, nah, we're in Africa, we're just gonna stick with the mud huts. <laughs> yeah, we're in Rome, right? <laughs> yeah, oh, people. People. But it's, it's interesting though. Like, well, how would South Africa be without the colonization? Would it be like, like, like uh, Madagascar? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's like very, you know, mud roads, wouldn't like proper roads. I think the Europeans brought a lot of civilization, quote unquote. I mean, you go like, well, it was civilized that before, was it though? <laughs> yeah, the, the British came and they built roads and they built. You know, bridges and that's what they like to do. <laughs> you know the bridge on the river Kwai, it's like they're gonna build a proper bridge. You know, that's what they do. They, mm. they came to South Africa and they built roads and mm. hopefully, it would, hopefully it would last forever. That was their whole thing. Bringing civilization to crazy worlds. <laughs> uh, yeah, but you, yeah, it's like people are like well. Colonization was so bad. Yeah, was, you know, people were bad and everywhere. And, uh, but at least they brought nice roads and bridges. <laughs> uh, you see, now you got now you got nice roads and bridges to drive on. See, there you go. <laughs> Be grateful. 